Hello everyone, this is your captain speaking and welcome to a speed paint slash tutorial on how I painted a clockwork dragon. Now this is just what I did specifically, there are many other ways you could paint this miniature and there's other ways that you could add things and add extra effects, but this is just what I plan to do. I decided to start with the wings, because for me, the wings on the dragon is the most important part. It's the biggest part and it shows off more of what the dragon seems to be, and it can just give an overall pretty silhouette. So I, because of all the patches on the wings, I decided to have a bunch of different colors of leather. So one of them was just pure wet mud, there was another one that was leather brown, oak brown, and the last one was oak brown mixed with a little bit of leather brown. That doesn't really make that much of a difference, but eh, it doesn't matter. I had to do two coats on almost every color on the wings because my paint wasn't sticking too well to the mini and I don't know if that's a feature of the mini or of my paint, but that's just why it took so long.
the sticks that are in between the wings, I used oak brown and a little bit of black to make it stand out more so that it's not just pure black and that it fits better with the overall design. I also used the same color on some of the stitches that are holding some of the fabrics together. And I noticed that the wet mud was showing up a bit too brightly on the mini, so I used more wet mud and put some leather brown in it and mixed it together then did a heavy dry brush on all of my wet mud segments. For my next part, I decided to paint the neck and the tail with the same color. I used a mixture of the same paint that I used for the sticks and the wings, which is the black and oak brown. And then I also added in some leather, some leather brown and some weapon bronze to make it more metallic looking, but not have it so bright that it would ruin the aged effect I would add later. And this, again, took a couple of coats because it was a very wet kind of paint. But it still, it gave the effect that I wanted. I decided to then blanket the rest of the body in, in one color just to make it easier for later coats. So I created the rest of the body to be a silver with using Iron Breaker, Uniform Grey, and Black to make it a dull silver, make it shine out more. This next part is something that I actually learned pretty recently. For a wash, I simply took a strong tone and I just covered the whole thing with it. And then as it was drying, I used some more of the strong tone and used an older brush and just stabbed the mini with the brush repeatedly with strong tone on it. And that made a muddled leatherish kind of look. It's super simple and it looks amazing. I was surprised at how well this turned out.
Then I made an overly complicated mixture for some of the hinges and a bit of the pieces of the armor. I used plate mail metal, scaven blight dinge, fenrisian grey, and skeleton bone. It made a bronzish bright color that I liked, but could have been done way easier. So I'm just being complicated with what I'm doing now. The mixture that I used for the head and the tail tip and some more pieces of armor was greedy gold, leather brown, and demonic yellow. To add some more variation to the armor and the neck and the tail, I created some different colors of bronzes using weapon bronze in yellow and weapon bronze in leather brown. These can be put anywhere, it's not picky. It's just a fun time. In a step that I used purely for detail work and for just some fun, I decided to use some more strong tone to darken the wings, and I used some of Citadel's Nihilac Oxide to create an old rusty copper look, and then I used just pure orange to create a heavy rust look very sparingly. The only part of the miniature that I'm not too happy with is that I decided to try to create a stove effect with the chest. 
because as you can see it has some rib cages there and it looks like it should have a burning fire in there and I really wanted to do that. What I did do was I painted it pure orange and I dry brushed the orange around the area and then I used orange plus yellow and mixed that together to create a brighter in the chest and continue to use brushing and highlighting and all that and I tried my best to create a glowing effect. It didn't glow as well as I had hoped so you would do well to do a different type that I did. To try to sell it I used blood letter as a glaze to create some orange glowing and a black dry brush to make it look like it was soot covered. That was the best effect I could create and I'm not too happy with it but I love how it turned out anyway. I used some fairly simple highlights for the rest of the body. I created a mixture of uniform grey and skeleton bone for the silver areas and leather brown and skeleton bone for the bronze areas. And I also used pure Fenrisian grey or just white on some of the brighter areas. Again, use very sparingly as it can look wrong very simply. And in some areas I even put in some typhus corrosion to add some interest. But again, very hard to see, very sparing. So I hope you enjoyed my tutorial slash speed paint of this clockwork dragon. I had a lot of fun painting it. It seems like every time I paint something new it becomes my new favorite miniature. But if you have any suggestions for what minis I could paint next, anything you want to learn, or just any ideas in general, you can contact me. I have my link to my website and my Facebook page in the description, or you can just comment on the video. Like it if you liked it, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, farewell.